Hey there and welcome to the future of mobile application. Before that if you guys are new here, join to the Unbox Squad. Let's see uh, the today topic. The today topic is file upload and download in React Native application. In React Native in this text, in this we'll explore how to implement file functionality in React Native application using React Native file system library. When building mobile application, handling file operation such as file uploading and downloading is very necessary. So in this thing, we are going to handle how to download and upload the image. So in this blog, I'm just focusing only on file download functionality using React Native file system. So before that, the prerequisite, if you guys are uh, how to know about basic understanding of React Native application and how to set up a development environment. If you guys are new to the file upload thing, I just added a few things about that. So you guys see here, which is file upload functionality with React Native document picker. So along with that, I just added a lot of things. You just, you guys check here. I'm just adding this link to the description. So before you, implementing that you guys are need to know about react native file system so this is the npm package we are going to use this npm has in, has a weekly downloads of more than 1 lakh and also the size of the package is less than 1 mb so it's good to go with this package and also most of guys are using this so this is the popular package we are going to use So this is the basic thing. So RNF is a React Native file system download functionality. So let's see the code. Uh, so I just I just had it create I just had created a basic React Native application. So in this React Native application, I'm just putting the home. So in this home, I'm just created that. Uh, I'm just running this application. Uh, so in between I'm just trying to add one more thing. So this react native version currently we are using Is a lower version So let see the react native version we are using is 72.6 currently we got a new version called 73 So in the 73 we can't open this metro Alone, so we'll create a separate video Using the comparison of the older version new version of react native application if you guys are need to know more about that, please give a subscribe, ping in comment. Uh, see here, the start download we are currently having. So let's explore the code. So in this code, I'm just created a sample text which is start download when I'm clicking this it moving to the download functionality so in this download functionality I'm just using the RNFS file download RNFS is nothing but react native file system package you need to import you need to use RNFS so here and specifically I'm using download functionality if you guys are using upload functionality you can go with the different thing so here I just added the download functionality while downloading a thing we need to specific where I need to capture uh, image where I need to download so this from URL and to URL from URL I just added a sample link from Google see this is the image added a sample image Those, this one you are going we are going to download so to the two file is nothing but a path or location we are going to use so rnfs download directory path is taking a default uh, directory path for the mobile and then uh, along with that i'm just adding a file name sample image.jpg whatever the file you guys are downloaded it will be the sample image.jpg so promise the promise you guys already know about that so promise is giving something at least if it's error it also it will giving some error if it's result also it will give a result so let's see how this thing will work when i'm clicking this download 
you guys can able to see in metro right download successfully the byte return job id and status code so let's see what it what's byte return byte return is nothing but a size of an image job id is nothing but how many times you guys are downloaded the same image the status code is similar to the uh, http request if http request is successfully completed it will be 200 right the same thing we are expecting here if it's more than uh, if it's failed something or some technical error it will be 400 401 402 right the same thing you guys are getting here if it's download if it's not downloaded exactly the status code will be 400 to 500 let's see uh, the file so if downloaded successfully i'm just going to the file see in this downloads the image was there so this is the one see here i'm just deleting the image again so in downloads there was no images going back here downloading again downloaded successfully moving back to the file see we got a file so this is the simple one so if you guys need to know uh, if you guys uh, need, if you are guys are downloading a larger image so this is the sample image so it's downloaded very easily if you guys are downloading a larger image so you guys need to know the how many percentage the progress was there right so for that we can able to implement the progress percentage here uh, see here so we, like this the progress callback so this progress callback will return how many percentage that image has downloaded so and also we can add a headers type the content type what will be there if it's application uh, pdf uh, what are will be we can able to add hope you guys learned a new thing today if it's really useful give a thumbs up and do a subscribe for me support me having any queries reach me on comment box bye bye guys